Hey everybody, this is Jedi Disney 96 here's another Transformers review. Today I'll be reviewing the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Legends Starscream. So here's Starscream in his F-22 Raptor mode. Looks really nice. Uh, it's pretty cool paint. Uh, it's sort of like a Legends, or Premium Legends uh, Starscream. There's a really shiny silver paint on him. Some blue for the cockpit and all of his black uh, tattoos. Nice little Decepticon symbol there. Uh, he does have quite a bit of robot junk on the bottom. See his legs, his arms, and his head. But it's pretty expected for a Legends class. Uh, but yeah, still pretty nice jet mode. I think it looks pretty cool. So, yeah. Uh, for size comparison, here we have him next to the first movie, Legends uh, Megatron. You can see that... Starscream and Megatron are about the same uh, same length tall, but uh, Megatron is a lot wider than Starscream. Um, and I, I think they're, I guess, kind of in scale. Yeah, I, I think they're in scale. Not completely sure, but yeah. Um, so, yeah, to transform him, what you want to do is just... Uh, Fold this cockpit up. Let's see, uh, flips around and it sort of just rests in there. And then you just untab the legs from each other. Just rotate them around like that. Then you just um, take his arms, fold them down. Just uh, it should be like that. Just want to rotate them. Like that, just fold down these wings, and there you have Starscream in his robot mode. Pretty nice robot mode. Um, for a Legends class figure, uh, he does have a really, really good robot mode, I think. Um, so, yeah, they, I think they did a really, really good job on this figure. Um, and it's even from the first movie line. It's, this is just a repaint of the first movie one, so... Yeah. Pretty cool. You can see he has a pretty decent head sculpt. With red eyes and stuff. And now you can see even more of his tattoos and stuff. His arms are pretty long, but I don't really care. Um, and, uh... Yeah, it's pretty much it. Not really much else to show, besides some of the detail you can see there. So, yeah, for articulation, his arms can rotate 360 degrees, as well as go out from the body just a little bit, and in. Uh, his arms can uh, bend at the elbow and rotate 360 degrees at the elbow. And his legs can go just forward just a little bit, and back to there, and out. So, he has actually pretty good articulation for a Legends class. So, like I said before, he's a really, really good Legends class figure. Um, so, yeah. Uh, overall, his uh, vehicle mode, the only problem is uh, all the robot junk on the bottom. His uh, robot mode, uh, there's really any problems with the robot mode, actually. Uh, maybe you could count these wings as robot junk or something, but they actually kind of look cool like that, so. Uh, overall, I would highly recommend picking this figure up. It's really, really awesome. And it's on clearance now at Target for only $3.48. So, yeah. Um, oh, one thing for size comparison. Here we have next to the uh, Robot Heroes Starscream. See, he's a little bit taller than him. And we have next to the first movie, Legends Prime. This is actually Netwatch Prime, as you can see. Um, they're, I, I think they're kind of out of scale, but they're about the same size. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I highly recommend picking this figure up. So yeah, thank you for watching my review, and this is Jedi JediJC96, signing out.